Hi everyone. In this summary lecture, we will study what is partition of a set. This is a very important concept when we study equivalence relation. At that time, this concept will be very important. And also, when we study combinatorics, at that time also, this concept is going to be important. Okay. So let's try to understand this. First, let's see the definition of disjoint set. When can I say that two set are disjoint? Two set are disjoint if they do not have any common element. Okay, so there is no common element means their intersection is five. Okay, so then we will say that they are disjoint set. For example, you can notice this is the set A, this is the set B, and you can see that there is no common element. I can say that A intersection B that is basically five because there is no common element. Similarly, in this example, you can notice this set A and set B they do not have any common element. You can see that set A intersection set b that is basically phi so they are disjoint this a comma b they are disjoint set and what about c comma d they have common element so this element 7 this is common element so i can say say c intersection d that is basically set containing element 7 and this is definitely not equal to phi this is definitely not empty set so i can say that intersection is not empty so this c comma d they are not at not disjoint set Okay, so this is the concept of disjoint set. Two set are disjoint if their intersection is phi. Similarly, you can notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They are disjoint set. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5. They are not disjoint because their intersection is not phi. Their intersection is not empty. Similarly, set of even integers, set of odd integers. That is, they are disjoint. Okay, now let's see this question. If a, comma b are disjoint set, then what is b minus a? So remember, a, comma b are disjoint set, then what you can say? then you can say that this set A and this set B, they do not have anything common. In this case, what will be A minus B? That will be basically A. In this case, what will be B minus A? That will be basically B. Because remember, what is A minus B? A minus B means those elements which are in A but not in B. And you can notice all the elements of A, they are only in A, they are not in B. Because A comma B are disjoint, so there is nothing common. So I can say that A minus B, that a minus b means those elements which are only in a so all the elements of a are only in a there is no common element between a comma b so i can say a minus b will be a and b minus a will be a so the question is asking if a and b are disjoint then what is b minus a the answer will be basically option b and also by the definition you can notice that phi okay phi is disjoint with every set because you can notice this phi comma uh, this set they are also they are also disjoint because their intersection is phi. Similarly, this phi comma phi, they are also disjoint. Just apply the definition. Remember, only apply the definition if you have two set A comma B, then when can I say that they are disjoint? They will be we will say that they are disjoint if and only if A intersection B is equal to phi. Just apply the definition. So you can notice if you have these two set phi comma phi, they are also disjoint. These two set are also disjoint because their intersection is phi. These two set are also disjoint because their intersection is phi. Always apply the definition. So this is the concept of disjoint set. Now, now the next concept is partition of a set. What is this concept? What is partition of a set? The name itself is telling you what okay. Partition means dividing the set into some parts. Okay, so what is this concept? The concept is very simple. Let's assume you have a set A. Okay, so let's assume this is your set A. Then partition means the elements of A. So you have elements in A. Now the partition basically means that the elements of A, okay, we are dividing them into some categories. So I can say this is part A, this is part, this is part A1, this is part A2, this is part A3. So this is called partition of A. Basically, partition of A means this is set A, this is our set A, this is set A, we are dividing into non-empty disjoint subsets. So you can notice that A1, this is a subset of A. You can also notice A2 is also a subset of A. A3 is also subset of A. So this set A we are dividing into subsets such that you can notice that these A1, A2, A3 they are mutually disjoint. You can clearly see that AI intersection AJ that is basically phi whenever I is not equal to J because similarly here in this example you can notice that A1 intersection A2 that is basically phi. Similarly A1 intersection A3 that is basically phi and a2 intersection a3 that is also phi so these these subsets they are mutually disjoint 
okay pair wise they are disjoint and each of them is subset of a and also you can notice they are non empty so this is the definition of partition what is partition of a set the definition is very simple partition of a set means what is partition of a set that basically means that you are splitting the set into disjoint non empty subsets which cover all the elements all the elements should be covered for example let's assume this is your triangle okay uh, okay let's assume this is your rectangle now let's assume this is a set let's assume this is a set uh, s now this is set what you can do you can create partition of this set very simple for example you can create like this you can create partition so how many parts you have in this so okay in this we have total s1 this is a part s2 this is a part s3 s4 so total four parts you have you can notice that what we are doing we are splitting this set s into four non empty mutually disjoint subsets which cover all the elements of s so this s1 union s2 union s3 union s4 that is basically s so all the elements are covered and you can notice that si intersection sj that is phi means they are mutually disjoint s1 s2 they do not have anything common s1 s3 they do not have anything common so they they are basically mutually disjoint okay and also i can say that they are non empty i can also, i can say that si that is basically non empty this is the definition of partition of a set okay so this is your rectangle you can partition this rectangle into five parts so there are five parts you can notice the union of all these parts that is equal to the rectangle and you can notice okay they are mutually disjoint a to a5 they do not have anything common and all of them are basically non empty so this is the definition of partition of a set partition of a set means okay you are splitting the set into disjoint non empty subsets which cover every element such that every element is covered every element belongs to exactly one subset okay so this is the idea so for example this is a set let's assume this is a set now you are partitioning this set into okay how many parts you have this part this part this part this part so total four parts you have so this set you have partitioned into four parts you can notice the union of all the parts that is your complete set okay all the elements are covered in these subsets and okay each part is a subset of the set and also uh, they are mutually disjoint each okay whatever two parts you take they are mutually disjoint so this is the example let's assume this is our set 1 2 3 then what are the possible partitions of this set 1 2 3 the possible partitions are like this what you can do okay so the idea is this that you have 1 2 3 then you can do the partitions like this okay so this partition you can do this partition is this okay so you can notice one is in one part two is in another part three is in another part so this is a partition possible another partition that is possible that is like this okay another partition is like this 1 comma 2 is in one part and 3 is in another part another partition possible is like this okay 1 is in one part and 2 comma 3 is another part okay so <clears throat> another partition you can notice that all all of them are in single part so there is okay only one part all of them are in the single part and what this means this is simply means that okay there are two parts in one part you have two another part you have 1 comma 3 so this is the idea of partition you can notice this is your set and the partition of this set means you are splitting this set into subsets into subsets such that these subsets will cover all the elements they are mutually disjoint and also none of them is empty for example this and this subset they are mutually disjoint and you can notice they are non-empty and they cover all the elements of the set this is the idea of a partition okay so the definition is very simple a partition of a non-empty set you have a non-empty set a so let's assume you have a non-empty set a then partition basically means that this a you are splitting into this a this set a you are splitting into subsets so each of them is subset basically each ai that is a subset of a second thing they are okay non-empty each ai is basically non-empty the third thing they cover all the elements of a a1 union a2 and so on a n they cover all the elements of a and also they are pairwise disjoint means i can say that a1 intersection a2 that is basically phi they are pairwise disjoint so i can say that ai intersection aj that is basically phi okay whenever i is not equal to j then that is basically phi this is the definition of this is the definition of partition okay let's take some example so for example if you have this set then what are the possible partitions you can notice this is a possible partition every element is in different part 
okay this is another possible partition this is another possible partition like this so total five partitions are possible okay this is a partition you can notice that the uh, remember remember if you have this set let's assume you have set a b c okay then partition is this okay so i can say that this is a partition like a is in one part b comma c is in another part so remember this is called part and this complete thing is called partition okay so the, this complete this complete this complete thing this is known as partition of a so this is partition of a but this is only a part in this partition this is only a part another name for part is basically cell or you can say class okay so these are different names so i can say in this partition this is the complete partition in this partition you have two parts or i can say you have two cells in this part only a is there in this part b comma c are there okay so basically it's like this this is your set a and now you have two parts in one part you have a in another part you have b comma c this is the idea now let's see this example consider the following collection of subsets of s okay which of the above collection is a partition of set s so okay on your screen you have three uh, three collection of subset of s which of them is a partition of s you can pause the video and you can solve it so what is the answer the answer you can notice one three five two six four eight nine does it cover all the elements first of all you check so elements are one to nine so one two three four five six seven is not covered so this is not a partition i can clearly say that this is not a partition why this is not a partition because seven is not covered okay this is the reason seven is not covered okay because you can notice okay this is this this okay only three parts you have but none of the parts they cover seven seven is not covered so this is definitely not a partition of this set next what about this one one three five two four six eight five seven nine this is also not a partition why because you can notice this and this they are not disjoint okay so these two parts are not disjoint so this is the okay i can say parts not disjoint so this is the reason i can say what about the last one is this a partition one three five two four six eight seven nine does it cover all the elements okay so from one to nine does it cover all the elements one two three four five six seven eight nine so yes all the elements are covered and you can notice that all the all the parts they are non-empty and they are mutually disjoint so yes this is a partition so this third one this is a partition of set for this set this is one possible partition first one second one these are not partition clearly these are not partition now let's see this example the next example which of the following collections of subsets are partitions of this set so basically this is the our set for this set which of them which of them is a partition you can pause the video and you can try to solve so let's see the answer now okay so you can notice here this part and this part they are not disjoint so this is definitely not a partition why because i can say parts are not disjoint what about the second one one two three four five six yes this is a partition clearly this is a partition i can say and what about the next one because in this this is a partition total five total four parts you have okay one two three six and four five so total four parts you have in this i can say that there are total four parts you can notice none of every part is non-empty and they are mutually disjoint okay and they cover all the elements of this set so this is a this is a partition what about this this is also a partition clearly there are two parts okay they cover all the elements and you can notice each part is non-empty and they are mutually disjoint and what about this one four five two six this is not a partition this is clearly not a partition why this is not a partition because three is missing this element three okay this element three is missing so this is not a partition let's see this question this is our set s then which of the following is partition of set s so you can pause the video and you can try to solve what is the answer a b c d e f g so this p1 is this a partition a b c d e f is not covered this is not partition because f is not covered okay p3 what about p3 a b c d e f g okay so yes this is a partition because you can notice there are three parts in this partition p3 we have total three parts and they are mutually disjoint and they cover all the elements of s and also they are pairwise disjoint and what about p2 in this p2 you can notice that this part and this part they are basically not disjoint so this is not a partition 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yes, this is a partition. Only one part we have. Okay, so this P4. In this P4, basically, we only have one part. Okay, only one part we have. That is the S itself. So this is also a partition. Correct. Let's see the next question. Which of the following is partition of set of positive integers? Means uh, basically, which of the following is partition of natural numbers? You can pause the video and you can try to solve. So what is the answer for this question? You can notice this is saying that okay the question is asking for set of positive integers okay and this is saying uh, two parts are given to you n is greater than 5 n is less than 5 this is not a partition because 5 is not covered okay this part does not cover 5 this part does not cover 5 so i can say 5 is not covered so this is not a partition this is saying numbers uh, natural numbers greater than 6 and this has 1 3 5 this has 2 4 so this has all the natural numbers greater than 6 so basically 6 is not covered 6 is not covered by this part, 6 is not covered by this part, 6 is not covered by this part. So this is also not a partition because 6 is not covered. What about option C? Option C is saying that all the, all the numbers whose square is greater than 11, all the numbers whose square is less than 11. Yes, this is a partition of set of natural number. Correct. For set of natural number, this is the partition because what will happen basically in this option C, you can notice that, okay, all set of, for set of natural number, this is a partition. Why? Because one part is this. In one part, you have one, two, three. Okay, these elements are in one part. Okay, and in the another part, you have all the remaining elements. So these elements are in another part. So I can say that this option C, this option C is definitely a partition. So definitely, this is a partition of set of natural number. Okay, in this part, you have one, two, three. Okay, in this part, you have one, two, three. In this part, you have four, five, six, and so on. So finally, I can say this option C is a partition of set of natural numbers. Let's see this question. Okay, this is not a question basically. Okay, uh, so if you have this set A, B, C, D, then this is a possible partition. In this partition, you have three parts. In one part, you have A. In another part, you have B, D. In another part, you have C. So total three parts you have. Definitely, this is a partition of A. This is a partition of A because all the parts are non-empty. They are mutually disjoint and they cover all the elements of the set. So this is definitely a partition of A. Okay, is this a partition of N? Like prime numbers, composite numbers. Is this a partition of set of natural number? No. Okay, the reason is no. Why? Because 1 is not covered. Okay, remember 1 is neither prime nor composite. 1 is not a prime number. 1 is not a composite number. So because 1 is not covered, so this is not a uh, partition of N. Prime composite 1. Is this a partition of N? Yes, this is correct. Okay, because all the elements of natural numbers are covered. Here 1 is covered. Here all the prime numbers are covered. And here all the composite numbers are covered. And you can notice they are mutually disjoint. Okay, all of them. All these three parts, they are mutually disjoint. And they are non-empty. So definitely this is a partition of set of natural number. So this is the concept of partition of a set. The concept is very simple. Okay, the definition is also very simple. You have a set. And then what you do, you basically uh, divide this into non-empty subsets such that they are pairwise disjoint. Also, they are non-empty and they cover all the elements of set S. Then this type of collection, this type of collection of subsets, this is basically called uh, partition of set S. Okay. 